In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for March 28th, 2023. And with this problem, we need to evaluate this expression where we have a logarithm with base nine and the input of that logarithm is one over 729. So we have log base nine of one over 729. And to answer a question like this, you do need to have an understanding of logarithms and exponential functions and how to go back and forth. So at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, we can start working through it. And if you do have suggestions for future questions of the day, feel free to leave those as comments. Now, when evaluating logarithms, we need to understand what this is actually asking. We have log base nine of this fraction, one over 729. And this is basically asking when we take nine and we raise it to some exponent, we get this fraction here, one over 729. So we're looking for that missing exponent. And that should make sense because logarithms are exponents. So we can rephrase this using an exponential expression rather than a logarithmic expression. And from there, it might be a little bit clearer how to actually evaluate this. And for some general logarithm, let's say we have log base A of B, and this is equal to C. We can rewrite this as an exponential expression where the base of the logarithm and the base of the exponential expression are the same and logarithms are equal to exponents. So C will be the exponent in the exponential expression. And by process of elimination, the input of the logarithm is what the exponential expression is equal to. So we can rewrite this using this property here. We can rewrite this as an exponential expression, though first we need to set this equal to some variable. And we can say this is equal to x or some other letter if you'd prefer. And we know that when rewriting it as an exponential expression that the base of the logarithm and the base of the exponential expression are the same number. And logarithms are equal to exponents. So x, that's our missing exponent. And all of this is equal to the input of the logarithm, which is the fraction one over 729. Now from here, we can use exponent properties to try to solve for x. And with solving exponential equations, one technique that we can use, and that will actually apply here, is to rewrite each side of the equation with the same base. And to do that, we just need to recognize that this 729 is a power of nine. Namely, nine to the third power is equal to 729. So we can rewrite this as nine to the x power is equal to one over nine to the third power. And this one divided by nine to the third power, we can rewrite using a negative exponent where the base is still nine. If nine to the x, this is nine to the minus three power. Since notice that we are dividing by nine three different times, we could write this as one over nine times nine times nine. And when we are carrying out repeated division, we use negative exponents to represent that. So this nine to the minus three, that just means divide by nine three different times. So when rewriting this with the same base, for this equation to be true, the exponents must be equal to each other. So we can say that x is negative three. And this should make sense if we go back up to the original expression. The way to understand this, as you might recall, is that we're taking nine, we're asking what power would we raise nine to to get this fraction here? And when we raise nine to the minus third power, we divide by nine three times, and nine to the third power we know is 729, so we can confirm that x is in fact negative three. Though, if you want, you can also check this with a calculator.